David Lowry, Sidney Tibbetta for Iona, Emo Cyrus for your Saints. Races quickly into the game. Ryan Brad Oliver Oliver's out Oliver's is Oliver's Brett Bisping. Just 30 Oliver's seconds in. Armand hasn't made a three in either of his last two games. Oganyemi is in also for Levon Long. Armand didn't have a field goal against Fairfield. He had only two points in that game. It was the first game he scored in single digits all year as Silas travels trying to break Jeff the press. Long. Here comes Evan Himes. Which would be the Evan third substitute in the into the game in the first 35 seconds. Himes in for Poole. 35 seconds in, no score. Saints yet to have the ball in the front court. Iona with their third opportunity at the basket. Trey Bowman in between the circles. Left side for Mike Poole, a transfer from Rutgers. Near side right for Armand. Thought about the three out top to English. So the free throw line, Lowry. Down low, wide open Poole. He lays it up and in. Good high-low action right there. Lowry at the foul line. Poole wide open along the baseline. Mike Poole, the senior. Six foot six makes it two nothing in favor of Iona. Saints with the ball in the front court for the first time. Marquise right on the left wing against the man to man D of the Gales. Right side for Evan Himes. Back to right on the left side. He and Himes playing catch with 17 on the shot clock. Ball's knocked away. Himes gets it back. Himes dribbles past two defenders. Himes bounces it down low. Silas fumble the ball, gets it back, lays it up off glass. Too strong, no good. Rebounded by Oliver. Kicks it out for Himes. Saints with a second chance opportunity. Nice rebound in traffic by Ryan Oliver. Emo Silas once again not comfortable finishing around the basket. Kind of played hot potato with it after he got a good pass from Himes. 20 on the shot clock here. Now Iona looks like they've set up in his own defense as a offensive foul will be called against Siena. And Emo trying to establish position on the low block. Got the arm up a little bit high. Caught Lowry in the jaw with an elbow. He was a strong guy. He doesn't need to necessarily throw the elbows, but uh, he's got to finish around the basket. Another feed from a guard to Emo near the basket in the paint, and just not comfortable just going up strong with it. Bisping and pull back in. AJ English missed the three. Rebound jam for Iona by Trey Bowman, who pumps his fist. Apparently they won the game. Marquise Wright with a right elbow. Jumpers up Marquise and in. Nice job of quickly answering by the freshman point guard, Marquise Wright. Pool right side for Armand to three. It's good. Sean Armand with a three-pointer makes it 7-2 Iona. I was just going to say, the Saints are not boxing out at the defensive end in their zone, and Iona's gotten a lot of offensive rebounds. Bowman was pumped up after that follow dunk. Oliver gets a screen right from Oganyemi. Down low for Javion. He's in traffic. He muscles it up and draws the foul. Good job of drawing the foul by the freshman, Javion Oganyemi. David Lowry, the foul, his first. And the last time the Saints got the ball inside, Emo Silas didn't even come close to drawing the foul. Again, I hate to belabor a point, but the, the guards are making good passes into the post players around the basket. They need to do something productive. This is productive. Javion draws a foul and of course he gets the line making his first foul shot now three out of seven from the free throw line this season michael wolf into the game early appearance for wolf he replaces brett bisping wolf the 6'9 freshman from germantown maryland averaging two and a half points in six minutes a game two and a half minutes in saints down seven to four after oganyemi makes two free throws Saints thought about pressure, now they'll pull it back. Not a good sign to see Armand make that early three, although he is just one out of two so far. Man to man defense for the Saints. Lowry with the ball out top, guarded loosely by Oganyemi. Lowry not much of a three-point threat, off to A.J. English, and an oh, offensive foul, foul against, against David Lowry. Lowry. That'll be his That's second. His second. Illegal screen as English 
came off the screen of Lowry on the perimeter. Marquise Wright, right, just the extra days. effort to stay with the offensive player right through that foul right because it was a tough screen for Lowry to make because Marquise Wright was right on the heels of A.J. English. Ryden right Hines, a 6'5 freshman from Anchorage, Alaska, checks in for Iona. Feed the post long, had a ball ripped away, stolen by Trey Bowman. He'll run into the front court, get it to Hines, who's a more of an outside threat as a big man. Made seven out of 14 three-pointers this year. Speaking of three, Sean Armand buries the triple. Not sure how you lose Sean Armand, but the Saints have done that twice. Same spot. Ten to four, Iona with the lead. Sean Armand, who had one of his best games ever against Siena at Madison Square Garden when he made ten three-pointers, a personal best. Pool, 19-foot jumper, in and out. Rebounded by Iona's Trey Bowman. Up ahead for English, who will run the point. Ten to four, Iona with the lead. 16.30 to go. English. Or Bowman, I should say, down the lane. Dumps it for Poole, and he traveled. Three-second three violation three on Hines. Down. Hines was open earlier on the Bowman dribble drive, but a couple passes later, he gets hit with the three-second call. 16-20 to go, 10-4, to four, Iona with the lead. They look to trap right. They do so on the far sideline. He gets away from two defenders. Now he'll set up the offense. Elusive with the basketball, Marquise Wright. Pool out top for long, left side Oliver to Pool who shakes free under the basket. Ready, Pool. Offensively by the Saints, they waited for the play to develop, and Rob Pool had a wide open layup. Ryan Oliver able to see over the defender to make that pass. We've sung Iona's praises offensively. They score 83 points a game. They also give up 80 points a game. Foul away from the ball. To be called against Siena's Rob Poole. And a timeout brought to you by All Star Wine and Spirits. 15 50 to go, first half. Iron 10, Siena 6. We'll talk 1300 Siena Basketball Radio Network. We know how much you enjoy the heart pounding, thrill seeking sensation of day to day routine. But seriously, have you ever considered slowing down a little? Tired of the same routine? And we got a trip for you. Delicious dining, exciting entertainment, and thrilling gaming action at the Tropicana in Atlantic City. All for just $69. Enjoy round trip transportation, hotel accommodations, and a casino. No bonus. These trips are going fast, so book yours today. All right, fans, I'm here with Alex from Colony, who's going to pick a number from the Siena Promotions team to see what prize he's competing for in today's Yankee Trail promotion. Alex, whatever you want. He's going to go with number four. What is behind box number four? It is the trip to Turning Stone, which is a foul shot. We're going to scoot on up here. You guys got to make some noise for Alex. He's going to go spend all his hard-earned money at Turning Stone if he makes this. You're listening to Siena Basketball. And the bank is closed, Bradley. No trip to Turning Stone tonight. Did he make it? I wasn't looking. That's 15, all right. Give him 49 left to go Sienna in the first half. Sienna Sienna trips Sienna Iona 10 to 6. Hey, Ben, you want to see this? Iona's already made a couple of three pointers. They're four out of seven from the field. Sienna's two out of four. Teams meeting for the 101st time. Iona leads the all time series 53 to 47. Iona's won five out of six against the Saints. Iona swept Sienna last year, which is the first time that's happened since the 96 97 season. Saints have had a lot of success against Iona here in this building. Iona beat them last year, beat Siena last year here, but before that, really Saints had won six in a row. Winners, Alex and Logan I just remember some tough section, losses one, one, in the MAC four. tournament to this Iona team. Alex and Logan. Saints have never really beaten the Gales in the MAC tournament, I believe 0 and 6. Kind of the anti Marist, if you will. Saints are 6 and 0 all time against Marist in the MAC tournament, and 0 and 6 against Iona. Iona will have the ball after the foul on pool. Lowry has gone to the bench with two fouls. 10 to 6, Gales with the lead. Inbounding from the baseline right, the Gales get it out top for Armand. Gets by Ogunyemi and is fouled by Javion. And check had the arm on Armand as he was making his dribble drive. It's the right call, it's a good call. 15 47 to go, 10 to 6, Ogunyemi's first of the game. And the third against Siena. They get it in under the basket for Bowman. He's fouled by Oliver. He'll go to the line for two. A direct cut from the foul line to the opposite side of the basket for what was going to be an open layup. Saints go man-to-man on the baseline out of bounds play, and Iona has gotten two fouls in succession against the Saints. Bowman, an excellent free throw shooter, 89%, third in the MAC, and he makes the first. 
Evan Himes and Brett, Evan Brett, Himes and Brett Bisping in for Ryan Oliver and JV on Ogan Yemi. And Ryan Oliver. Second shot by Bowman, a senior transfer from Midland College. Missed the second. Pull the rebound. Three points now for Bowman. Iona applying pressure off the missed free throw. Long still in the backcourt. Gets it to Poole across the timeline. Had the ball ripped away. Head of field is Trey Bowman. He'll hammer it down with the right hand. Trey Turnover Bowman. in versus the press. The Saints not handling the full court press of the Gales. A turnover leads to an easy dunk. 13 to 6. Iona Himes races into the front court. Gets it to Long in the lane. He's hacked. And Levine, a foul on the Gales. Levine Long just so strong. That was a tough pass to catch in traffic. Just big hands, yeah, right. rips the ball away from the defender, draws the foul. Mike Poole, the foul, his first of the game. Rob Poole out of the game. Maurice White comes in. Maurice White, the freshman from Baltimore, makes his first appearance. Saints lob it in for Long on the left wing. Get it to Bisping at the left elbow. Here, shoot it from 16. In and out. Rebounded by Iona's Trey Bowman, who's been all over the court. Nice bounce pass ahead for Armand. Fumbles the ball, gets it back. Almost traveled, lost it. Right to steal. The max leader in that category will run two on one. Right hesitation, kicks it out for Himes. Right wing, three pointer is short. Rebounded by Iona's AJ English. 13 to 6, Gales lead up ahead of the field. Bowman, he'll lay it up, missed the layup. Rebounded by Himes. Saints will run the other way, three on two. Himes against English, lays it off glass. And speed in transition by Evan Himes. Picked up that loose ball rebound near the foul line. And he was a jet down the court. A.J. English not even t attempting to block the shot. 13 to 8, Saints trail with 14.35 to go. English hands it off to Bowman. To Hines. Down low. Poole had the ball ripped away by Wright, but it was out of bounds. And it'll stay with the Gales. As into the game is Isaiah Williams. Eight points, five rebounds a game. A 6'7 sophomore from Newark, New Jersey. A transfer from the State College of Florida, Manatee. 14.27 to go. After the first couple minutes of the game, the Saints were playing 2-3 zone. They've gone almost exclusively man-to-man -man defense since. We're not rebounding well out of that zone. Trouble getting in for Iona. They do so to Armand, who's got six points to lead all scorers. Left side to Williams. Out top, Armand. Right side, English. A long three is no good. Rebound follow. Volleyed up in the air and in. And a timeout. Sienna, I believe Sienna might have tipped that in. Isaiah Williams has really struggled on the road. They've lost four in a row, although against very difficult competition. Five out of their last seven and 11 out of their last 13 on the road, going all the way back to last season. But did win the MAC championship in Springfield. Right with the ball left side. 14 minutes to go. 15 to 8. Iona with the lead. Poole, Rob Poole, continues to be out for Siena. Right playing catch with Himes. To Long on the right wing with 10 on the shot clock. Between the circles, Himes with 7 to shoot. Himes shaking against English. Zigzagging his way down the lane. Lays it up in traffic and scores. Evan Himes. Right there by Evan Himes. He's just so quick. Iona unable to keep him in front of him. A water bug just going by, guys. 15 to 10. Saints trail 13-30 to go. Evan bailing the offense out when the offense didn't even get the ball inside at 20 feet. Maurice White called for the reach. It'll be his first foul of the game. Looks like Armand kind of lost the ball. 13.25 to go. First half, Saints down 15 to 10. A.J. English will get the ball into the backcourt for Isaiah Williams. Lobs it back to English. Now Iona with numbers. Trey Bowman wide open. Three is no good. Rebound. Volleyed around. Wright's got it for Siena. He'll run two on one, and he's fouled. He's fouled in the open court. And they took away a layup from the Saints because Marquise Wright comes up with a tough traffic loose ball rebound in between defenders. He was held by, I believe, Hines. Ryan Hines. Hines picks up the foul. It's his first. first. You know, Jimmy Patzos talked about this last game against cool. Maris. Marquise Wright, he's deceptive. He's deceptively bigger than he looks. He's deceptively stronger than he looks. He's deceptively quicker than he looks. Right there, that was pure strength by the freshman to come up with that loose ball rebound and start the transition opportunity. Hines out of the game. Mike Poole in. Himes. That's Evan Himes to the basket. Draws a foul, and he'll go to the line for two. 
Evan Himes has been instant offense in this game for the Saints. The half-court sets for the Saints, not yielding a lot of open shots. The last one was the Robinson layup. But it's mostly been the quickness of Evan Himes, his ability to go by his defender and get to a scoring opportunity. Evan to the line, an 80% free throw shooter, ninth in the MAC. Makes the first. Rob Poole into the game, replacing Maurice White. Replacing Maurice White. The Saints a little bit more size from that small forward position that Poole will play here. Well, what the Saints need is they need a big man to come up with some rebounds. They need Levon Long and Javion Ogunyemi at the defensive end to come up with rebounds. The Saints have not had post players coming up with rebounds. Tavon Sledge checks into the game for Iona. Sledge, a junior from Spring Valley, New York, five foot nine. As Himes makes both free throws, he's got six points. And the Saints have pulled to within three, 15 to 12. Himes with the last six points for the Saints. Sledge will run the point now for the Gales. 2-3 zone for Siena. Sledge out top. Bullet pass into the right corner for Williams. He'll shoot a long three and score. Isaiah Williams with five points. It's 18 to 12. Third three-pointer already for Iona. And Williams, the last five points for the Gales. That went a little unexpected, a little set shot from the corner by the six foot seven inch athletic forward. Poole in the right corner, shoots a wide open 15 footer, came up short, and the ball goes over the backboard. It'll be Iona basketball with 12.35 to go. Tough shot, tough spot on the floor right, to be a high percentage make. Deep in the corner, two point shot from about 16 feet. Tough spot to make it from. Poole checks out of the game along with Ogan Yemi into the game. Oliver and Bisping. Bisping yet to have a point or a rebound in this game. He's been just tearing it up of late in his sophomore season. 12-25 to go. 18-12 to Gales. Armand nifty dribbling. Takes it down the lane. Forced up a shot. It was no good. Rebound and a jump ball. The area of favor. Sienna. Good aggressive defense by Ryan Oliver right there because Sean Armand was going right at Oliver. Armand listed at 6-4. That may be generous. We hear Jimmy Pazzo say a lot. Ryan Oliver at 6-5. Used his size right there to stop the dribble drive by Iona's leading scorer. Emo Silas back into the game for Siena. Oliver's got the ball, hands it off to Wright. Now Saints to run three on three. Wright turns on the Jets, pulls it back out, bounces it to Oliver on the left wing. Top of the key to Bisping. Off to Wright with 12-10 to go in the first half, and the Saints down 18-12. to 12. Left wing, Himes. Evan guarded by Tavon Sledge. Gets a screen right from Bisping. Out top to Wright. Back to Himes. He'll shoot a three. He got it. What that did, though, is allow Evan to be able to shoot over a defender. defender. Poole yeah. missed the quick Here's jumper. It's rebounded high. again by Iona. They kick it out for a three. It's no good. Rebound fought for. Silas has got it for Siena. Feeds it ahead for Himes. Racing ahead of the field. Evan will lay it up. Evan Himes. 11 for Evan Himes. Saints trail 18 to 17. Athleticism and quickness doesn't matter. He's 5'6". Down the lane, English kicks it out for an Armand, wide open three, it's good! Big answer right there by the senior, good ball movement by the Gales. Nine points for Armand, his third three of the game with the 11.15 to go, quiets the crowd for the moment, 21-17. to What a boost Himes has been in this game, he's got 11 already. He's feeling it here, he gets it off to right, back to Himes, left side Bisping, feeds the post, Silas lays it up with the left hand. Before the shot, he was fouled on the floor. He did end up making the shot, but it will be before the shot and the timeout brought to you by All-Star Wine and Spirits. 11.04 left to go. First half. Foul on Rob. Mike Poole. Mike Poole. Iona 21. Sienna 17. The Talk 1300 Sienna Basketball Radio Network. All right, fans, you know Where's Waldo? We're playing Where's the Chef. We've got Dana from Pelané. There's Dana. She's got to help her with her. They've got 60 seconds to find Angelo 677 Prime Chef somewhere in the crowd on your mark. Get set, go. That's all they got to do is locate the 677 Prime Chef in the crowd. He's wearing his chef coat, maybe even his hat. They're down to 40 seconds to go. They're going to get a $50 gift card for the Zone Hospitality Family Restaurants if they find them. They've got 30 seconds to go. Turn around. The other way. Section 101. 
She says she sees him in section 101. There he is! Can't fool you. Dana's taking us all out to dinner tonight. Hey, fans, how about a hand for Dana? There's one who's up a $50 gift certificate to any of the Mizzou Hospitality family or restaurants. Congratulations to Dana. Congratulations to everybody in ship, Jared Moreau. You all just put yourself a $10 gift card to the Mazona Hospitality Family of Restaurant. Rebound or in transition, transition where they make the extra the pass. Down just down to down give you an example of what Three Iona likes to do. Evan Dunkin Himes is delayed the basketball in. Four Dunkin passes Dunkin later and just Dunkin 10 Dunkin seconds Dunkin later, Sean Armand's bearing an open three-point shot. So Iona's going to put pressure on the Saints to get back. And not only get back and stop the layups, but get back and get into proper position. Himes checks out of the game for a quick breather. Ryan Oliver back in with 11.04 to go in the first half. They get it in for Silas in traffic. Silas backs his way in, turns it over. Three on one, Iona Armand, a sledge. His shot is up, and he's fouled. Missed the shot, he'll go to the line. Marquise Wright to foul his first. As Silas turns it over for the third time in this game. Emo dribbling in traffic. Lots of players or defenders around him on that baseline feed. It was about a three-foot pass. And the defender guarding the out-of-bounds player was the one who knocked it away, which was Sean Arma. Sledge made the first free throw. Now 6 out of 12 from the free throw line this season. Sledge has come on of late. He scored 40 points all season. 26 of them have been in the last three games. Well, the one thing we know from this game, especially in the early going, the Saints are going to have to score points if they want to stay with the Gales because the Gales will definitely score a lot of points 23 17 with 10 50 to go Bisping down the lane acrobatic layup no good Silas the follow up Emo Silas. Silas went right back up instead of trying to hesitate or put the ball to the floor English bumped at the top of the key to Williams right side for Armand steps into a contested three it's short rebounded by Maurice White here comes Sienna the other way Armand knocks the ball out of bounds it'll be Sienna basketball with 10 30 to go Rob Poole in Rob Poole along with Evan Himes for Sienna Oliver and White out Saints down 23 19. Maurice White with a nice long rebound but a tough pass up the floor as Armand Almost came up with the easy steal just past midcourt. Saints down four. Evan Himes top of the keys. Got 11 points already. Off to right. Into the corner for Poole. Outside for right. 22 on the shot clock. 10-20 to go in the first half. Saints down 23-19. Rob Poole off a screen. Thought about pulling the trigger on the three. Instead, dribbles inside the arc. Outside for right. Left side, Himes. Back to right. A 10 to shoot. Right side pool and a moving screen against Siena. Brett Bisping his first. Saints his really got to get the ball seven. inside. Iona continues to switch. Their biggest player is Lowry. Williams on the court. Lowry, Lowry is on the bench the with two fouls. Iona's very small right Bisping. now. The Saints Jimmy need to be resilient in their effort to get the ball inside. Full court press now from Siena as Rob Poole goes back out of the game. And I think the full court press kind of plays to the strength of Iona. They're athletic. And they're gifted. And what do you know? A steal by Sienna. Wright tried to pass it down low to Long, who fumbled the ball. Sledge has got it back for Iona. Two on one. Sledge, alley -oop. Bowman. Too far up high for him. Bowman does come down with it. Gets it out to Armand. Splits two defenders. And Traveling. traveled. Sean Armand travels. Trying to split two defenders with 9.53 to go. Saints down by four. Good pressure defense by the Saints. Just after I said I thought I was going to play to the strength of the Gales. The full court press created a turnover. Unfortunately, the Saints turned it right back over. Again, we see Iona Everybody's full court. On and Emo Poole back in for Sienna. Ryden Hines, Hines in. checks in for, for Iona, English. replacing A.J. English, who has not scored. He's averaging 17 and a half a game. Full court press for the Gales. 9.50 to go. Iona 23, Sienna 19. Right into the front court on the left wing. Gets a screen from Poole. To Rob on the left side, feeds the post Bisping, kicks it out right, right side. Evan Himes drives right baseline, goes up for Bisping, lays Red it up and in. Bisping. Red dribble drive Evan again Himes. by Evan Himes, blowing past Sledge at five foot nine. Handed it off to Bisping, who scores his first two of the game. Saints down two, 23 21. Sledge between the circles. Left side for Bowman. Right side to Sledge. Behind a high screen, left side Bowman. Good defense here by Sienna. Williams will jack the three and score. Isaiah Williams three with point eight goal. points and a timeout. Sienna. Williams has two three-point shots that have really been daggers. The difference in the game right now 
Iona holds this five-point lead. That's a big shot. Saints making a little bit of a run. Offensively, Iona having a tough time containing Evan Hines. Isaiah Williams returned to the lineup in their last game against Fairfield. Missed six games due to personal reasons, but has made a big impact here today. Scoring eight points already to boost the Iona cause. He started his career at Marshall University. Uh, had some eligibility concerns there and now has landed here as Iona, at Iona as a sophomore. Averaging eight points a game, he's already got eight here. 26-21 Iona with 9-10 to go in the first half. Poole, Bisping, White, Himes, and Wright. Saints have been doing a lot of shuttling of players in and out to try to get the right combination out there. Coach Patsos likes to sub a lot in the first half. Maybe not as much in the second half once he finds a combination that he's comfortable and that is working. Right into the front court on the left wing. Kicks it out for White. Maurice takes it down the lane. Gets it to Bisping on the low left block. Bisping, one dribble. Gets two defenders in the air and draws the foul. And that was a good look right there by Maurice White. But really a poor pass. Anytime you feed a big player, Brett Bisping, a power forward, if he makes that a bounce pass, I think Brett catches that cleanly and finishes. Instead, the shovel pass hits Brett right in the belly. Isaiah Williams, the foul, his first. Bisping to the line, 74%. And missed the first one badly off the left side of the rim. So Sean Gomez, Gomez checks in, a 6'2 senior from Inglewood, California. Three and a half points in 10 minutes a game. Bisping missed the first. Normally a very reliable free throw shooter with nine minutes left to go. Bisping makes one out of two. He's got three points. Saints down 26 to 22. Armando run the point. Despite his reputation as just a shooter, he is averaging four assists a game, is Sean Armand. One of the best three-point shooters the Mac has ever seen. Armand kicks it out for Hines. Out top to Gomez. To Hines. Feeds the post. Armand gets away from White in traffic. Had a shot blocked out of bounds. Stays with the Gales with 12 on the shot clock. A lot of contact on that Sean Armand drive. Maurice White went for a steal at about 12 feet. Didn't come close to coming up with it, and that allowed Armand to get to the paint, at least. But Rob Poole helped defender. Got to him. They get it in for Williams with 10 to shoot. Williams picks up the dribble, hands it off to Gomez with 6 on the shot clock. Gomez one-on-one -on -one with Himes. Gomez takes it down the lane, kicks it out for Ryden. Hines, a 3. It's no good. Rebound is loose. And who's got it? It's fought for. It's out of bounds off of Iona. Siena basketball. As Wright and Williams get into it a little bit as they get up. That's after the technical foul on Isaiah Williams, his second of the game. Himes two out of two from the line so far, so Saints a chance to score here and get the ball back. Himes taking a little extra time here and short arms it. It's a lonely spot at the foul line on a technical foul shot. You'd almost rather have players around you. Average, Evan averaging about 10 points a game in 22 minutes a game this year. Last year he averaged 10 and a half in 34 minutes. So the end result, he's playing about 12 minutes less, but scoring virtually the same amount of points. So he's been much more efficient. Makes one out of two here, he's got 12. And Marquise Wright has allowed Evan to move off the point. And it just seems when Evan gets the ball this year, no one can keep him in front of him. I recall the Purdue game. They had a tough time containing Evan. And Iona having a tough time containing the junior in the early stages of this game. 8.05 left to go. Saints down 26-23. Rob Poole on the right wing. Out top to right with 20 on the shot clock. Marquise surveys the scene. Marquise dribbling with the right hand. Left side for Evan Himes. Back to right between the circles with 10 on the shot clock. Saints will start the offense here. Get a screen right from Poole to Rob in the left corner. They do a nice job fronting on Bisping. Kick it out for right. Thought about the three. Spins down the lane. Dipsy do move and he's fouled with two on the shot clock and a timeout brought to you by All-Star Wine and Spirits. 7.46 left to go. First half. Iona 26, Siena 23. On the Talk 1300 Siena Basketball and Radio Network. English's turn. And the team's nine. 7.46 to go in the first half. There's a timeout on the court. Hey, fans, Key Bank knows that Siena fans mean business. That's why they'll assist you in all your small business needs. From checking accounts to loans to online banking, Key Bank can unlock your possibilities. Key Bank, member FDIC. And speaking of Key Bank, 
Here comes some t-shirts, courtesy of the GTM Payroll Services promotion team. If you want a t-shirt, yell, scream, stop your feet, get loud, they're coming in the crowd. Louder, 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 if you want a t-shirt, who wants one? Extra loud, you might get my microphone too. No. Seven forty-six left to go in the first half. Robert Lee, Tom Herter with you from the yeah, Times Union Center in Albany. First of two meetings between these schools over the next eight days. Saints will play next on Thursday at Manhattan. It's a seven o'clock start. Tom and I with the pregame show from the Bronx, six p.m. Then Siena at Iona next Sunday. 5 o'clock start, 4 o'clock with the pregame show. Saints' next home game is against St. Peter's on Thursday, January the 23rd, 7 p.m. start. Saints closing out a three-game homestand. They've won five in a row here at the Times Union Center. Three of their next four, though, on the road after today. And it'll be Marquise Wright to the free throw line after the foul on A.J. English, his first. Wright just a 50% free throw shooter. Marquise right to the line for the Saints. Right out there with Long, Poole, Himes, and Bisping. Iona goes with Armand, English, Bowman, Lowry back in the game with two fouls, and Gomez as right missed the first. Saints now six out of nine from the line. Lowry playing with two fouls. He played only three minutes before picking up those two fouls. Iona doing some shuffling along the free throw line. Wright will get another shot here. And make it. Three points for Marquise Wright. Saints down 26-24 with 7.45 to go. Full court man pressure here by Siena. Lowry handling in the backcourt. He's very capable handling the ball at 6'9". Takes it coast to coast. Lays it off glass. No good. Rebounded by LeVon Long. Outlets diagonally to the left. Marquise Wright into the front court, right to left. Wright kicks it out for Poole on the right wing. Out top for Wright. Bounces it to Long straight away. Back to right. Siena will set up the offense here with 7.25 to go. Down by two. Saints have never led. Poole on the right wing. Gets a screen left from Long. Hands it off to Himes, who's got 12 points to lead all scores. Himes, like a jet, gets it to a cutting right, who lays it off last in. Marquise Wright! Another assist for Evan Again, Himes. Tied at 26. Marquise Wright. Foul at the other end against Siena. Marquise Wright. That'll be Wright's second of the game. And the seventh against the Saints will put the eighth against the Saints, Saints actually will put right. Iona at the free throw line. The team's eight. So right with two fouls now with 7.05 to go. Saints have tied it at 26. AJ English. English to the line, 79%. One and one. His dad, AJ English, the second. Played a couple of years in the Ryan NBA Oliver with the Washington the Bullets. Right. Ryan Oliver in. Marquise Wright checks out. Not necessarily for the rest of the half. Usually the head coach is standing or sitting in one of the first four seats on the bench. Coach Patsos is about ten seats down on the bench right now. He's, he's near the walk-ons. English to the line for two shots. No, one and one. Makes the first anyways. Nothing Jimmy Patsos does, I guess, should be deemed surprising. Certainly unconventional. English makes both free throws smoothly. 28-26, Iona, 7.05 to go in the first half. Iona came out really hot as far as scoring the basketball. Saints have slowed the pace of the game and slowed the Gales' offense. Oliver between the circles. Gets it to Himes, who will run the point. Guarded by A.J. English in the man-to-man. -man. Now Iona looks like they may set up as Poole's got the ball on the right side. Long at the free throw line. Shoots it from there. Off the mark. Rebounded by A.J. English. Here come the Gales. Three on two, left to right. English down the lane. Awkward contorting shot draws another foul. He'll go back to the line. Brett Bisping, his second. Not a smart foul right there by the Saints because English had a shot attempt that I guess would uh, have a high degree of difficulty, you could say, would be probably an understatement. So if he made it, you kind of clap your hands and go to the other end, but now you give him a chance to 
Go to the Emo line. Silas Michael Wolf Michael and Emo Wolf. Silas in for LeVon Long and Brett Bisping as English has scored three in a row from the line now. At 25 points against Fairfield. Made four three-pointers, had four rebounds as well. Iona comes off an 84-75 win over Fairfield on Friday. Saints beat Marist Friday, 67-58. English, four in a row from the line, extends the lead to four, 30 to 26. Himes in the backcourt, picks up the dribble, long pass ahead, dangerous, caught by Silas. Emo dumps it to Poole, who lays it up. Nice play Poole. By Emo. Silas, so strong and athletic to rip that pass away. English, quick fire three is good. Oh AJ God. English heating up seven points. That shows you how quickly Iona is comfortable at getting the ball up the floor and attempting shots. Oliver in trouble. He's fouled. That could be on Armand. It is. It's on Sean Armand, his and second. The Saints down 33-28 and 6-10 to go in the first half. And Ryan Oliver will go to the line for 1-1. One one. Oliver hasn't been to the line a lot this year. Three out of five from the free throw line. Oliver averaging two and a half points in 11 minutes a game. He'll have one and one here. Three out of five this season. Well, he'll have two shots. Two shots. That's the 10th foul on Iona. He missed the first point. Rich Adu makes an appearance here, playing for the eighth time this season in 17 games. Rich Adu will replace Michael Wolf. See if Adu can give him a spark. A 6'3 sophomore from Mississauga, Ontario. Oliver's second shot. It's good. 33-29 with 6.05 to go. Saints down by four. Saints have never led. They were tied a moment ago at 26. English quick three. It's good. A.J. English with 10. Nothing AJ fancy English. there. He just fires a three. That was just a one-on-one -on -one move. Look Ryan Oliver directly in the eye and bury a three. 10 points now for English. And it's 36-29. Pool a three. Short. Rebounded by Armand. Gale's on the run. Got to keep an eye on English here. Bowman with the ball left wing. Out top for Sledge. Right side English. He'll go one on one with a dude. Get into him. English blows by him. Lays it in and a foul. AJ English, 12 straight points for the Gales. A do the foul his first. Saints have no answer right now for AJ English. Iota doing a good job of spreading the floor. Man to man defense for the Saints. And English Pepper getting Pepper right Pepper to the Pepper rim Pepper from the right wing. Hard dribble drive to his left. He's on the line shooting at one. All A.J. English here over the past few minutes. He's opened up a nine-point lead for Iona with 5.30 to go. Make it a ten-point lead. English with 13. 13 straight points. In the span of about two minutes. It's been on fire here. 39-29, Iona with the lead. White all the way to the basket. Lays it up in traffic, no good. Silas the rebound, lost it on the way down. Silas gets it back. Silas carves out space. Hook shot too strong. Rebounded by Marquise Wright for Siena. Kicks it out, Himes. Didn't want to shoot the three. Back to right between the circles. 5-10 to go. Sinks down 39-29. Right. Out top for White. He goes one-on-one. -on -one. He had it knocked away. He was fouled. And he'll go to the line for two. And the call to Tavon Sledge. Tavon Sledge, his first. his first. Well, with the way the Saints are shooting foul shots, that may have been a good play for Iona. The they more will more trade one line. point Saints. for three. Shoot That's what they've been doing as of late. A.J. English with three straight three-point plays. Two conventional three-point shots and three-point play on the dribble drive last time. White made the first. Saints now 9 out of 13 from the line, 69%. Still teetering on the brink of getting out of hand a little bit. Saints have got to hang in there here and start slowing down this Iona offense, particularly A.J. English. They need to go back to getting the ball inside. Maybe get a third foul on Lowry. Get a third foul on Sean Armand. Another one out of two trip to the line for Siena. Bowman races into the front court. Bowman had a shot spiked away by Silas. Oliver the loose ball. Saints are run four on four. Himes down the center. Pulls up from 17. No good short. Rebound out of bounds Rebound to Siena to with 4.50 to go. Rob Poole back Rob into the Poole game, replacing the Evan Himes. Poole's been Evan quiet. Himes. Only four points. Well, that quick trigger three he missed. Last possession or two possessions ago for the Saints sent him to the bench and that transition pull-up jump shot by Evan Himes Sends Evan Himes to the bench problems getting the ball in they do so to Silas 
And Siena will set it up with a fresh shot clock. 4.45 to go first half. Iona 39, Siena 30. Poole shakes free on the right side to Wright, who will drive down the lane, kick it out for White. He'll shoot a two-point shot. It's good. A deep two. Maurice White with three points. Saints down 39-32. Armand out top for English. White guarding him now. English versus White. English gets a screen from Lowry. English takes it down the left side of the lane. Had a shot blocked. He's fouled. A.J. English back to the line. The foul on Silas. It'll be his second. second Looks like there was more on Maurice White from behind. So too. Swinging at the block shot attempt. Bad news is going to put A.J. English back to the line where he's five out of five. 79% for the season into double figures for the 12th time this year already. And he made the first. Right, Saints right now just not playing good defense. They're not keeping the Gales out of the paint. And they're certainly not closing down on the three-point shooters. Iona's a tough team to guard. There's a reason they average 82 points a game. We're witnessing it right now. Ryden and Hines in for Iona, replacing Lowry. Bisping and Himes check in for Siena. Second free throw by English is good. 15 for A.J. English in the past three minutes or so. And it's 41-32, to 32, Iona. Across the timeline, Poole gallops to the basket, lays it up with the left hand. Scoop the basket. Down. Good aggressive drive right there by Rob Poole. Athletic play by the junior, finishing with the left hand. Right in Hines' second foul, Ryan foul Ryan. of the game. That's his second personal. Poole will go to the line. Right at the basket to the Saints. Rob Poole. Foul trying to complete the three-point play. Fouls are really piling up for both teams. Both teams in the double bonus, but both teams probably have 12 or 13 fouls each in this first half. 12 on Iona, 11 against Siena as Poole completes the three-point play. He's got seven. Saints hanging in there, down 41-35. 4.15 to go. And not a great defensive first half for the Saints. Iona shooting the ball well. Saints giving up about 71 points a game. They've already given up 41 here with four minutes to go. English has scored 15 in a row for the Gales. Left side, right in Hines. Zone defense for Siena. English out top, right side Armand. Long, NBA three. It's good. Sean Armand's 4 three, three of the ball. game. He's got 12. And a nice stare at Sean someone Armand. on the sidelines. Evan Himes just too small to get out that lazily on a three three point shooter. Armand at six foot five, White free throw line jumper Maurice is good. White. Maurice White with five points. Saints down 44 37. So good at the mid range game is Maurice White. Foul line jump shot. Saints continue to trade one and two points for Iona threes. Not a winning formula. Armand on the right side. Left side for Hines. Back to Armand between the circles. So 320 left in the first half. Saints down by seven. Armand between the circles. Armand pulls up for three. Oh, Sean Armand is fifth of the game. Fifteen points. Iona just killing Siena from downtown. Nine three-pointers already. Maurice White just giving Armand too much space. One dribble to his left. White was about five feet away, and Armand pulled the trigger. 47-37. Armand is hot. Now five out of seven from beyond the arc. Saints have seen this show before. White fouled by Sledge. He'll go to the line after a timeout. Sledge a second foul of the game. Timeout brought to you by All-Star Wine and Spirits. 2.48 left to go first half. Iona 47. Siena 37. We'll talk 1300 Siena Basketball Radio Network. All right, fans, it's one of your favorite times of the day. It's time for Dancing with the Saints. We got two contestants with us. Alex and Casey from the Colony Raiders 2 team sitting over there. They're underneath Donut and Cuppy. They got 25 seconds, and you guys in the crowd are going to be the judges. And they're already off. Which one is it going to be? We got 25 seconds. Who can get jiggy with it the most? The Donut just did a cartwheel. The Cuppy's doing a split. It's getting crazy out here. It's getting what? The Donut is... I'm not sure what the Donut is doing. I'm actually not quite sure what either of them are doing right now. We've got a couple of seconds left. The coffee cup just broke out the sprinkler. We've got about five seconds left. They're duking it out to see who they're, they're bumping and grinding. That's not appropriate for here. And Cuffy ends with a split. Time is up. Will the donut win or will the Cuffy win? What do you guys think? Was it the donut? 
Not too bad, not too bad. Was it for Cubby? Left to go in the first half. Iron a 47, Sienna 37. The Down Cup the wins really by a hair. How about another play, hand for the Cup? You try to stop them. But we got the cup here line. by but one. He's just kind of hoping they're off that they day. They're not off today. They're nine out of seven. Don't you notice the official cup? Sean Armand, five for seven from downtown. AJ makes seven, 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 seven points from the line. Two for five, five from downtown. Leona's also not doing is they're not turning the ball over. The Saints capitalized on like Maris miscues on Friday night. That led them to the victory on Friday night tonight. You qualify. Iona doing a good job taking care Saturday. of the basketball. Iona with 11 points off turnover. Saints just four. Maurice White on the line for the Saints. Shooting Saints just it. trying to weather this storm. Down by 10 here. Maurice White to the line for two. And as we said, Sienna continues to score. Just about, I'd say, a point and a half. One or two points every possession. Iona's getting three virtually every time down the court. And they're getting them quickly. White made the first. Into the game, Isaiah Williams. He replaces Trey Bowman. After a timeout, I might Isaiah add. Williams, Odd Williams. substitution there, but perfectly within the rules. White's second shot from the line. No good. Arm on the rebound. Saints cannot waste points here from the line now. 11 out of 17. Down 47-38. Already given up 47 points here in the first half. Three-pointer. No good off the back iron by A.J. English. He finally misses. Rebound, Marquise Wright. He'll race into the front court. Wright all the way to the basket. Lays it up, no good. Bisping the follow. And he'll kick it out for Himes. He'll shoot a three. Way off the mark. Rebound out of bounds off of Wright. It'll be Iona basketball. 47-38, Gales lead with 2.20 to go. Levon Long in, Evan Himes Levon out. Long enters his court in the Replacing Evan Hines. Long yet to score in this game. He has one rebound in seven minutes. A.J. English jogs into the front court left to right. English thought about pulling up for a three. Instead picked up by Poole just inside the arc. Hands it off to Armand who's got five three-pointers already. He now has 298 in his career. Two more for 300. He's Iona's all-time leader in that category. Oh, and a foul on Long. Inadvertently tripping a player going through the lane. It'll put Williams at the line. Long first. Long. That's his first personal. 2.04 to go, first half. Well, apparently, they just they replayed it on the board. And the, fans. And the feet got tangled up. And the Iona player went down away from the ball as Williams missed the front end of the one and one. No, it's a two shot foul. It's a two shot foul. He missed the first. And unfortunately, the. Uh, a lot of times calls will be made because the referees react to something out of the corner of their eye, not necessarily seeing the direct foul. They just saw Williams go down, most likely. Does miss the first free throw. Second shot is good. Nine points for Isaiah Williams. Saints down 48-38 with two minutes left to go in the first half. Saints want to finish the half strong here. Right between the circles. To Poole. Hands it back to right. Levon Long on the left side. To Poole beyond the arc. Out top for right with 15 on the shot clock. Zone defense here for the Gales. Right. Out top for Bisping. He takes it down the lane, shovels it up in traffic. No good. Volleys the rebound to White. He follows and scores. Maurice White. Wow. Driving flip shot off the rebound. Here comes Iona quickly the other way. Jay English into traffic. Bounces it down low. Ryden Hines. A shot rejected by Maurice White. Knocked out of bounds by Poole. Bounds It'll be Iona right basketball. 48 40. Gales lead with a minute 20 to go. Good activity at the defensive end for the Saints. They're being a little bit uh, stingier around the rim. White now has eight points, averages six and a half a game. Trey Bowman in Trey for Ryden Hines. And then White goes down to the defensive end and blocks a shot. 48 to 40. One of the higher scoring first half Sienna's seen in quite some time. Kind of par for the course for Iona, to be honest with you. 
Armand dribbles down the lane. Dipsy do shots no good. Out of bounds off of Williams. Sienna basketball. Ball. Good recovery by Brett Bisping. Armand able to get past him, but at six foot eight, Bisping recovered. Got a piece of that layup attempt from Armand, and the Saints retain possession. They look to score back to back time. This has been a seesaw back and forth scoring affair with, to your point, Iona making a lot of three point plays, and the Saints not enough. Right between the circles. One minute to go, first half. Feed the free throw line. Levon Long takes it down the left side of the lane, kicks it out for right. He'll dribble in, shoot it off glass. No good. Bisping taps the rebound out of bounds. It'll be Iona basketball, 56 seconds to go. Iona, very small lineup in the game right now. Williams with the two three point shots, Jimmy a Iona slender oh, build at six away. foot seven, their Jimmy biggest Jimmy player. Jimmy so Jimmy. Iona going to a four guard format with one forward in the game. The Saints have not been able to take advantage inside. Ogunyemi replaces Bisping, who checks out with two fouls in the final minute. Iona will uncharacteristically run some time off the clock here. Trey Bowman between the circles with 40 seconds left. Arm on top of the key, guarded by Poole. Arm on puts it on the deck, kicks it out for a Bowman. Two-pointer, three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Poole. Saints can hold for the last shot, right into the front court. Right through Long's hands, out of bounds, a turnover. Once again, if that's a pass, that's a bounce pass. Levon Long has a layup instead, a chess pass above the head of a streaking Levon Long turnover, Saints. Iona will call a timeout. Now they can hold for the last shot of the half. Sienna slam Duncan days are back. Sienna has once again partnered with Duncan Donuts to offer $5 tickets in St. Heaven's St. Heaven for men's basketball games this season. And buy one, get one free tickets for any women's basketball game in the arc. Stop, simply visit any Capital Region Duncan Donuts to pick up your voucher. This year's men's basketball slam Duncan days are February 1st against Quinnipiac, February 16th against Canisius, and March 2nd against Monmouth. So Iona a chance to go into the half of the double digit lead here. And hang 50 on the board in the first half. Costly turnover right there. I mean, it could have been an easy two-point lay-in for the Saints. Levon Long trying to catch that at about the foul line, extended on the wing. But the pass too hard and over his head. And now, to your point, Iona will hold the basketball. And they have just so many guys in the game right now that are very adept at going one-on-one. -on -one. We've seen a lot of one-on-one -on -one play in this game. Iona just spreading the floor, spreading the Saints out against the man-to-man -man defense. Gomez in the game to run the point for Iona. 20 seconds left first half. 48-40, Gales with the lead. Gomez on the near side right with 13 seconds left. Guarded by right. Hands it off to A.J. English, picked up by Poole. Hands it off to Bowman. They're running a weave here. Bowman to the left elbow. Kicks it out for Gomez in the left corner with five seconds to go. English guarded by Poole. English pulls up for fadeaway 18-footer and scores. Tough shot for A. David Lowry. This in one of our officials, making sure that they could get there in good fashion. Lowry, low right block down, low pool. He shoots it up in traffic. No good. Bisping the rebound. Contested layup by Poole. Into the front court, Marquise right out top for Bisping. Right side, Oliver fakes the pass, zone defense for the Gales. Oliver top of the key, right side, White fakes right, goes left, shoot, gets it to Oliver. He'll shoot a three. three. Saints need more than oh, right no. Oliver. Needs to right. be Oliver. his shot attempts. Is he the ball from, from the of bounds off of English. He dribbled the ball right off his foot, out of bounds. And it's Saints out of get bounds the ball back. The Oliver with four points now. Saints down 50 to 43. Well, you need any type of boost to get you going. Hopefully that three-point field goal by Ryan Oliver is exactly what the Saints need. Couple of defensive stops and a three-pointer. A good start thus far for Siena. 40 seconds in second half. White left wing out top for Poole. Can't fall in love with that three. Got a pound Iona inside. Bisping with the ball left corner. Left side right. With 13 to shoot. Zone defense still for the Gales. Wright gets a screen from Poole. Bounces it down low. Turns it over. Stolen away by Mike Poole. Up ahead for English. Again, if that's a bounce pass that may get to its destination, which was Maurice White. But Marquise Wright trying to throw a chest pass through traffic. Arm on left side out top. For Poole, left side Armand shoots a contested three and scores. White's hand was right in his face. 18 for Armand. Yeah, but the Sean effort to get Armand. out on that shot was not what it needed to be. You have to respect Sean Armand as being the greatest shooter in the country right now because that's what he looks like. Armand knocks it out of bounds. 53-43. Gales lead with 18:30 to go. 
18 points for Armand. He's got six three-pointers. Himes well, into the game. Into the and Maurice White Maurice checks scored. out. It, it, again, it's not okay to stand flat-footed and contest that three-point shot. You've got to work your butt off and get out there and try to block the shot. Poole, right side. Out top for Oliver, who's played big minutes here today. Left side for Poole. I'm not sure the Saints have gotten the ball inside of the three-point line in their first two possessions, three possessions. Right, left corner, Oliver feeds the left baseline. Poole kicked out of bounds by Mike Poole with six on the shot clock and 18-10 to go. Now the Saints have been throwing the ball into the backcourt a lot in this situation on these baseline out of bounds. There's only six on the shot clock here. Got to get a good look quickly. They get it in for Wright. Brett Bisping was held. And before Wright laid it in, Ryan a foul, foul against Diana. Mike, Poole. third Mike Poole's third Poole's of the game. That'll bring Isaiah Williams in. We'd rather have Poole in the game. Yeah, with the way those two have played, this is a break for Iona. New shot clock for the Saints. Baseline out of bounds, man-to-man -man D for Iona. 18-10 to go. Get it in for Poole in the corner. He drives left baseline and lose Lowry. Reverse. Nice by Rob Poole. Athletic took off on one side of the basket, finished on the other. Nine points for Poole. 18 minutes to go. Saints down eight, 53-45. They definitely don't want to exchange baskets, though, with the Gales. Need stops. English, left side for Williams. Off to Bowman. Himes guarding Armand now. Size mismatch there in the man-to-man. -man. Lowry takes Bisping off the dribble. Lowry lays it up with the left hand and scores. One-on-one -on -one move. Spin dribble, left-handed finish. First two of the game for David Lowry, 17-35 to go, 55-45 Gales. Oliver with the ball right side. Gets a screen left from Poole to right in front of the Siena bench. Out top Oliver, right side Poole. Right wing, it is Evan Himes. Off to Oliver, open for a moment. Brett Bisping wide open inside. Now they finally feed the post to Bisping on the low left block. Kicks it out for right. Back inside Bisping. Double team. Kicks it out right. He'll shoot a three. No good. Rebounded by Isaiah Williams. Right has struggled from three this year. 24%. English with 17 minutes to go. And Iona up by 10. English gets a screen left to a rolling Lowry on the low right block. Throws it. Out of bounds. A turnover. Out of bounds to Tommy Herter. 16.50 to go. Saints ball. I'm trying to set you up for a pass there, or for a shot there, Tommy? I would have shot that. That ball was going up. This is your money spot here near half court. <laughs> well, luckily one time it was. 16.50 to go. Saints down 55-45. Himes with the ball. Feeds Poole in the post. Poole to the basket. Hangs in the air. Rabbi Poole. Poole. He can score, not just shoot. Good play by the junior. Good defense right there by Marquise Wright. Wright blocked the shot by English. However, David the loose Lowry. ball goes to Lowry, who then banks it off glass and in. The Saints make a nice move. They work so yeah. hard at the offensive end to score, and Iona comes back and within 10 seconds gets a bucket. Lowry with four points. Pools now got 11. Saints All now right, 57 47. With 16 25 to go. As Sienna Sienna calls a timeout. Prime Company is a proud partner of CN Athletics. Special Poole's thanks Poole's to Dr. Poole's Hamish Kerr of Albany Medical Center, the official sports medicine provider of CN Athletics. Today's assist of the game is brought to you by UHYLLP, the Capital Region's leading choice for professional tax and business consulting services. You ready, Kyle? And to your uh, point, yeah, the Saints working right. so hard with score baskets. Iona comes down and gets a two or a three, seemingly at will. 57 quickly. points already. Quickly. They've answered quickly the answer. all the game long. It's going to be hard to cut into this Iona lead if the Saints continue to He's allow them to score Is so quickly. And that time, the first shot was defended extremely well. Marquise Wright with a block shot on a A.J. English. A.J. English pull up jump shot. A.J. English at six foot four had his way with the Saints in the first half with 15 points. So a good block shot from about 15 feet. But that rebound comes off to David Lowry, who puts a nice little bank shot to score for the Gales. Advanced down by the time Warner Cable This is the Saints 25th season in the MAC and since the Saints joined the MAC I can watch the complete post game coverage including The Saints have 237 MAC wins which is second and only to Iona which has 240. These have really been the conference's two premier programs over the past 20 plus years. It seems like 
Good luck. The Iona has been ticket. a little bit steadier through that time. Two, two, Saints have had some very high peaks, very low valleys. Section 108. Yeah, Iona's been pretty strong consistently other than that stretch, maybe about at the end of the Jeff Ruland, start of the Kevin Willard era when they bottomed out a little bit. They quickly came back, and they're now one of the premier programs in the MAC again. Feed the post for Rob Poole. Kicks it out for right. Right side, Heim. Zone. Nope, not a zone. Man-to-man -man D here for Iona. Oliver feeds the post. Bisping backs in. Lost the ball. He was fouled. Was it on Lowry? AJ no. English. AJ English picks up his second. That's his second. 57-47, Gale. 16.07 to go. Good job of getting the ball inside. Good things happen when the Saints get the ball inside. It's actually when you get more three-point shots is by getting the ball inside. Oliver looking to get it in. Does so to Poole in the right corner. Feeds the high post to Bisping. Takes the ball to the basket. Bangs it off glass. No good. Rebound volleyed out to Poole. Takes one dribble. Hangs in the air and scores. Rob Poole, Poole. Poole. Rob Poole showing his strength and athleticism in the second half. Really coming up with some gritty scores for the Saints. 15.45 to go. Poole already was six this half. Saints down by eight. Looking for some stops here. 57-49. Williams left wing off to Armand. They double him. Armand bounces it to Lowry, top of the key. One on one with Bisping. Lowry down the lane, spins. Lowry carried the ball. That's a, a carry. It's and six a timeout ball. brought to you by All Star Wine 15, and Spirits. 15 32 left to go. Gales 57, Saints 49. Let's we'll talk 1300 CNN Basketball Radio Network. LeonCars.com. You'll see every vehicle's options, equipment, service history, and more. Each is inspected and fitted with new tires, brakes, wipers, filters, and more as necessary before it's ever considered for sale. Plus, you'll see real-time market value, so you can compare it to our low LeahCars.com price. They look new. They drive like new. For thousands less. LeahCars.com. Online all the time. Leah. Hey fans, it's time for tonight's Leah Auto Group Shooting Challenge. Make some noise for Justin from Saratoga. He's got 20 seconds, or rather 45 seconds to make a layup, a foul shot, and a three-pointer. If he's the fastest one in the year, he's going to come back for a chance to win a car. You ready, Justin? All right, get set and go. So far, so good in the layup. On to the foul shot. He's off to a good pace. You guys got to get behind him. Make some noise for Justin. All the favorites in the Mac are winning by at least we nine. Got 30 seconds left. There's the foul shot out of the three pointer. He got some chips from the ref before he went out here. I thought that was down. We got 20 seconds. 15 32 left to go, as I Come believe on, there's been a technical foul on Jimmy Patsos in the timeout. Just getting that text He's from the scorer's the table. We got 10 seconds left. That would we be a got break for the six Gales. seconds left. That's from NBA range right, right there. Right before they went to break, I'm being told he was out of the, the box. Buzzer, two seconds left. And which frankly is all the time. It's good! Not the fastest time of the year, but he put on a show. Hey fans, all season well, long. I believe there's been a technical foul car, assessed to Jimmy Katzos. That's what I'm being told from my source on the far sideline. And don't forget to sign up for the Cowboys. We'll take two foul shots, AJ English. Rolling to the We're line. Technical foul, charge to the Sam coach. The Saints will get the ball. To shoot for Iona. Back to the point of the eruption. AJ English to the line. Missed the first. Small victory. English now seven out of eight from the free throw line. Second shot is good. So one point there for English. 18. And it's Saints ball. The, foul was, the technical foul was called on the Siena bench. Head coach Jimmy Patsos with 15.32 to go. 58-49. Gales lead. Saints have the ball. Right. Bounces it to Heim. Saints moving it left to right in the home wide. Out top to right. Off to pool. Feeds the post. Bisping. Double team. Breck dribbles out of it. Skips it out top to Oliver. Left side Himes. Back to a look of right. He lays it up and in. Right. Great find, great cut. Evan Himes with the assist. Marquise Wright with a great cut. Seven points for Wright. 15 minutes to go. Saints down by seven, 
Bowman left wing, out top to English, right side Armand, wide open three, no good off the back iron, rebound and a foul against David Lowry, it'll be his third. Good position, rebounding by Brett Bisping, great job of contesting that Sean Armand shot, Rob Poole sprinting at Armand, trying to block his shot, Armand had to shoot a little bit higher, changed the trajectory a little bit long on that three-point attempt. He was open, but Poole closed out on it quickly, Saints down seven with the ball, 14.50 to go, Iona 4-1 on the Mac, the defense. Mac champions, Saints 3 and 2, looking to move up in the conference standings. 14 40 remaining. Right corner, Oliver, right side, Himes gets by one defender, takes it to the basket, floats it up. Attacking the seam in the zone the defense. Saints now 58 53. So, so athletic, took off from about 10 feet, finished at about 4. 14 for Himes, Saints down by 5, 58 53. 14 20 to go. Tim Kloos calls out a play for the Gales. English dribbling the ball on the Times Union Center logo. Right side for Poole. Down low. Bisping knocks it away in a foul. Yes, he did. Reached in from behind. Third foul on Bisping. So Lowry and Bisping each with three fouls. 14 12 to go. Saints have pulled to within five. 58 53. Man wide open in the corner, it's A.J. English, he'll shoot the three, no good, rebounded by Evan Himes, he'll run it up the court left to right, Evan leaves one defender in the dust, Evan down the lane, gets it to Bisping, his shot blocked in a foul! A.J. English, his third of the game, Bisping will go to the line! Good job of pushing tempo, Evan Himes doing it all right there, coming up with the big defensive rebound, smallest guy in the floor, probably the most athletic, and he gets the ball with a behind the back pass. The 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 now, Bisping trying to keep that momentum by making these free throws here. Brett from the line. One out of two. 74% for the season. Makes the first. Himes with 14. Poole has 13. English and Armand each with 18 for the Gales. Bisping makes them both. Five points. The and it is a one-possession game. 58, 55, 14 minutes to go. Crowd comes to life here. 6 0 run for the Saints, only interrupted by a technical foul shot by AJ English. English with the ball left side. Iona trying to quiet this crowd. Gets a screen right from Lowry. Right side Bowman. He'll shoot a three and score. Three point goal, Trey, Bowman. Trey Bowman with eight points, and that's the answer there for the Gales. Their 11th three pointer of the game. 61 55, Saints. Undaunted, look to battle back. Bounce it to Himes, left wing. Evan dribbles through two defenders. Has the pass shut off, off to right. Bounces it to Himes, left side. Iona active in the zone D. Himes bounces it to right, dribbles in. Takes it down the lane, shoots it over. Lowry and scores! Marquise Wright, good answer for the Saints. That Bowman three was the fourth Iona Gale with a three-point field goal in this game. Lowry didn't want to pick up his fourth foul. 13 minutes to go, 61-57. Saints down four, have never led in this game. Have only been tied once at 26. English, right side for Bowman. At top, Lowry. Left side, English. Left corner, Armand. Skips it for Poole. He had the ball hacked at and a foul on Evan Himes. Just Evans first. 12.47 to go. We'll reset the shot clock. Maurice White into the game. Replacing Evan Himes. Replacing Evan Himes. Evan been, has been such an energetic spark plug in the second half for the Saints. He'll go to the bench. 
Iona inbounds the ball, baseline right, lobs it out top dangerously for Armand. He sheds right into the right corner for Poole. Down low, Lowry, low right block, spins baseline. Lowry kicks it out for English. Extra pass, Armand takes it to the right elbow, skips it left corner. Trey Bowman a three, way off the mark. Rebounded by Armand, but an offensive foul on Sean Armand. Good job of contesting the three-point shot again by Ryan Oliver. Third foul on Sean Armand, pushing Rob on that weak side rebound attempt. Now, four Iona starters have three fouls. English, Lowry, Armand, and Poole, all with three fouls, all in the game right now. Saints need to continue to try to get the ball to the basket, draw fouls, take advantage of those high percentage looks. Saints down four with the ball, 61-57, White in the left corner, all alone, they're daring him to shoot it, didn't want to. Poole right wing, lobs it down low for Bisping on the low right block, kicks it out for right. They're sagging off of him as well, 14 to shoot. Right takes it down the lane. Awkward shot blocked away. Ball loose. English has got it for Iona. He'll run three on two. English down the center. English lost the ball. Loose ball goes to Lowry. He's fouled with 12 minutes left to go. Saints foul should you Ryan Oliver, Oliver hacked him to prevent the layup. Second, second foul Marquise on Warner. Oliver. Marquise Wright blocked by an athletic AJ English. English at six foot four. Very long arms. Spiked that ball into the ground, tracked it down to the corner, then started the break. Lowry, just a 50% free throw shooter, barely grazed the iron on the first. Oh, Evan Himes in for Ryan Oliver. Ryan Oliver. Lowry has picked up his free throw shooting over the last couple of games, but was in a dismal stretch from the line before that. And 50% for the season. Saints sticking to this smaller lineup the entire second half thus far. Lowry missed the second one as well. Pull the rebound. 12 minutes to go. 61-57. Saints down four with the ball. Down 10 at halftime. They've cut the lead by six. Trail by four here. Evan Himes left to right for Siena. Left corner for Rob Poole. Almost stolen away. Armand. Wright gets away from him. Off the pool. Back to Wright with 13 to shoot. Saints taking time off the clock here. Right down the lane. Lost the dribble. Kicks it into the corner for White. Shoots it from 18 and scores. Maurice Wright. Saints trail by two. 61-59. 11 and a half to go. Another assist for Marquise Wright. The max leader in that category. The freshman point guard. With at least his fourth, fourth assist of the game. English with the ball. Out top, left side Bowman, left corner for Armand. Skips it to English. He'll shoot the open three. A brick off the back iron, tipped up by Lowry a couple of times. Rebound loose. Who's got it? Sienna's got it. White's got it for Sienna. Off to Himes. Into the front court, left to right. Saints down two with the ball with 11 minutes to go. Saints have never led in this game. I think we'll hear the crowd if they take the lead. Right in front of the Sienna bench on the left wing. 20 to shoot. Off to pool. Back to right. Feeds the post for Bisping. Double team, Brett hacked at, hands it off to Poole in the left corner. He's in trouble there. He's trapped. Gets it out top for White. Dribbles and travels before he pulled up for a jump for high-powered offense. I only could explode in a second, but definitely a good first 10 minutes of the second half for the Saints. Iona will inbound the ball after the turnover by Sienna. Saints with Wright, Poole, Oliver, Himes, and Bisping. Iona with Sledge, English, Lowry, Williams, and Bowman. Armand out of the game. Lowry with the ball top of the key. Guarded by Bisping, who's done a nice job on him. Feeds the post. Knocked away by Bisping. It's loose. And a foul. English on his way up is fouled by Marquise Wright. His third of the game. That's his third personal. Routine's been. going to put A.J. English at the free throw line where he is 8 out of 9. He'll have two shots. Set play where they had English start near midcourt. Passed the ball to Lowry near the top of the key, and he went right down to the post. Four out, one in, and the one in was your point guard. That's what Tim Kloos just ran for the Gales. English missed the first. English made the second, 19 points. Javion Ogunyemi will play here in the second half, replacing Brett Bisping with 10.20 to go. 62-59 Gales. Well, in the first half, it seemed like the Gales constantly were making two foul shots while the Saints were one and one for two. In the second half, that's the second time A.J. English has made just one of two. Right into the front court, across the Times Union Center logo, left to right. Bounces it to Himes with 10.05 to go. Saints down by three. 
Bounces it to Oliver. Open left elbow jumper is good. Ryan Oliver. Play by Sienna Oliver. Buries the 15 footer. He's got six. Well, Oliver set a screen for Poole coming off the baseline screen and then flashed to the high post. He was wide open because his man switched. And Rob Poole is being guarded by two people. 62 61 Saints Trail English down the lane English hangs in the air shot was off the mark Ogunyemi the rebound Saints can take the lead with a score here right into the front court to Oliver he'll shoot a three for the lead he got it! Possession favors Sienna. Having his best moments in his Sienna uniform couldn't come at a better time. He's putting points on the board against a very explosive offensive unit in Iona. 64-62 Saints with 9-10 to go. And that was a transition pull-up three by the sophomore. Right, bounces it to Ogunyemi. His shot was goaltended. Count the basket. Goal Count the basket for Ogunyemi. He's That's got a goal. Another Kenny assist goal. for Marquise Wright. The getting the into the feet. Ogunyemi. Defense the Saints lead 66-62. Back into the game, replacing Tavon Sledge. Crowd Six to go in the game. Your Saints are taking the lead. Six to shoot. Fifty-two. Fourteen in the second half. The Saints are on the defense. With nine oh six to go. Make some noise. Sixty-two. And also, the Saints have done this with a small lineup. Rob Poole, the starting two guard, playing power forward the entire second half. Full court press from Siena. They bounce it in for Lowry in the backcourt. Back to English, who will run the point as Siena pulls it back and settles into a 2-3 zone. Right and Oliver at the top. Himes, Ogunyemi, and Poole down low. Lowry free throw line, ripped away, and a foul. And if that's on Marquise Wright, it'll be his fourth. It is Marquise Wright's fourth foul of the game with 8.55 to go. And the team is six. The sixth team foul, so it's not a shooting foul, unfortunately, because I could have put Lowry on the line for one and one. Would have been the only positive from that foul on Marquise Wright. Bowman thought about the three, instead pulls it down, and will run some offense with 8.50 to go. Armand gets a screen left from Lowry to English. He'll shoot a quick fire three and bury it. <laughs> AJ English with 22. A set shot from about 24 feet. 66-65 Siena, 12th three-pointer of the game for the Gales, but the Saints still lead with 8.30 to go. And Marquise Wright staying in the game with those four fouls. Showing the trust in the freshman here, Wright with the ball out top. Bounces it to Oliver, open 16-footer, short, rebounded by Isaiah Williams. Outlets for Trey Bowman right to left. Short arm that a little bit over the bigger Lowry. He was open. Armand with the ball right side. Feeds it down low for Lowry. Spins to the basket beautifully, but missed the layup. The tip by Williams is no good. Rebounded by Oliver for Siena. Three opportunities there for the Yale. Ryan Oliver doing a great job from his guard position in the zone of rebounding the basketball. 7.55 to go. Saints lead 66-65. Himes with the ball left wing. Gets a screen right from Ogunyemi. 
Himes to right in the corner. Thought about the three. Feeds the post Ogunyemi. Javion kicks it out for right. Thought about the three again. Instead off to Himes between the circles. Right side pool. Wide open three on the way. He got it. Whee! 69 Bowman with the ball left side. Feed the post Lowry. Guarded by Ogunyemi. Lowry backs in Javion. Lowry takes it to the basket. Missed the shot. Good defense by Javion. And then Lowry followed on the putback. Is it on right? I think it's going to be on Marquise right. It is on Marquise right. He is fouled Marquise out of the right. game. With 7-12 to go, Marquise Wright has fouled out of the game in a timeout brought to you by All-Star Wine and Spirits. 7-12 remaining. St. 69, Gale 65. Let's talk 1300 Siena Basketball Radio Network. Ball getting the team into their offense. Now Evan Hines will move to the point, a position he played his first two seasons. Levon Long checks in, and Long was at the table to check in, probably for Wright. Uh, but the play never stopped, and Wright ended up fouling out. David Lowry to the line for two shots. Marquise with 9.7 assists, four turnovers, two steals. Continues to lead the Mac in steals and assists. He'll go to the bench. Saints with 10 turnovers at this juncture. We'll see where that stat finishes up. Lowry missed the first free throw. He just kind of flicks the ball at the basket. Very ugly free throw stroke. Ogunyemi out of the game. Brett Bisping comes in. I'm not sure there's a shooting coach at Iona. Does make one out of two. He's got only five points, though. And the Saints lead 69-66 with 7.05 left to go. Ryan Oliver has played 19 minutes, has nine points and six rebounds. He's got the ball left wing. Out top for Himes. Back to Oliver. Zone defense from the Gales. Himes with the ball right side. 15 to shoot. He's playing catch with Oliver to Bisping beyond the arc. Back to Oliver. To Bisping. He's wide open and a foul. On Lowry. Lowry picks up his fourth of the game. He's going to put, no, that's the sixth foul. To shoot David Lowry. That's his fourth personal. And Four fouls on Lowry. And LeVon Long will not go to the free throw line. Saints will inbound the ball baseline left. Ryan Hines checks in for Iona, replacing David Lowry. Ryan Hines in for Lowry here with 6.45 to go. Poole, fresh shot clock for Siena. Inbounds the ball for Oliver in the left corner, and an offensive foul. Brett Bisping, his fourth of the Same game. Foul to Brett Bisping, that's his fourth personal. Haven't seen Emo Silas Silas the entire second half. Ogunyemi will get up to check in for Bisping. With 6.45 remaining in the Saints, holding on to a three-point lead. When Levi Long was fouled by Lowry, Brett Bisping was wide open at the three-point line. Didn't even look to attempt that, a three-point attempt. Two number fives going at each other here. English guarded by Himes in the man-to-man. Left side for Armand. Poole all over him. Back to English. Gets away. Shoots a three. Scores! A.J. English just pulling the trigger. He's got 25. Evan Hines went behind the screen, and English crossed back over, going back behind that screen, hitting the deep three. Tied at 69 now, back to a look for Poole under the basket, gets his man in the air, missed the left-handed layup, rebounds loose, it's controlled by Iona. Tied at 69 with 6.10 to go. English into the front court. They sag off him, English shoots another three, it's no good, Evan Hines the rebound. St. dodge a bullet there, English can't believe he missed that shot. The way he's playing, I can't either. Hines between the circles. English still frustrated with himself. 2-3 zone for the Gales. 5.50 to go. Tied at 69. Oliver. Left wing for Poole. To the free throw line. Long down the lane. Hangs in the air. Two points of the game for LeVon Long. Tough traffic finish by the freshman. Carving out space with his big body. 71-69. Sienna. Five and a half minutes to go. Mike Poole. Left side for Trey Bowman. He's got eight points. Hands it off to Armand. Running the weave here. English gets a screen from Hines. English. Oh, traveled. Off to Armand. Gets by Poole. Armand takes it down the lane. Left-handed layup's no good. Armand will go to the line. 
Oh, it's a good job of Javion Ogunyemi not allowing the easy bucket, fouling Armand on the dribble drive. Armand able to get past Rob Poole. Armand, I was just thinking he's been a little bit quiet in the second half since that initial three-point field goal. 79% free throw shooter, missed the first one badly. Fred Bisping into the game for Javion Ogunyemi. Armand, 10th in the MAC in three uh, free throw shooting. Preseason first team All Mac selection, second team All Mac last year, already in the top 20 all time at uh, Iona in scoring. Over 1,400 points. He makes one out of two, has 19 here. 5 10 to go, 71 69 Siena. Saints with the ball. Evan Himes running the point. Marquise Wright fouled out two minutes ago. Get a screen right from Bisping. Himes down the lane, kicks it out for Oliver. Three from the corner, well long. Rebounded by Ryden Hines. Good look. Dribble drive and kick out to the corner. Good shot. English between the circles. Guarded by Himes. Gets the screen right. English puts it on the deck. Takes it to the right corner. English controlling the ball here. Off to Armand. Lowry out of the game with four fouls. Armand down the left side of the lane. Armand stops. Armand gets it to the right elbow. Back out to Armand beyond the left wing. Armand floater in the lane. No good. Rebounded by Poole. He's hacked and fouled. He'll go to the line. Iona is just so tough to guard. A.J. English has been so hot. Sean Armand is a difficult guard. The Saints getting beat off the bounce again. That draws a help defender. They're not giving up layups, doing a good job, but they're susceptible to the missed shot and the offensive rebound, and that's exactly what Poole just got on the weak side. Poole is 6 out of 7 from the line this season. He'll shoot two shots, as will Iona the rest of the way. They're into the double bonus. Poole makes the first. Into the game, Maurice White replacing Ryan Oliver, who will get a nice hand as he checks out. Nine points for Oliver, tying her career high. White has ten points into double figures. Maurice White for the fifth time this year. Second free throw for Poole. Can give Iona the lead. Tied at 71 with four and a half minutes to go. And he does. Four points for Mike Poole. Iona takes the lead. 72, 71, with 4.25 to go. Himes between the circles. Off to Poole. Gets a screen right from Bisping. Rob to Maurice White. Lobs it down low. Bad pass stolen easily by Ryden Hines. Terrible angle. Wasn't even open. A.J. English into the front court, right to left. Off to Bowman, left wing. Saints looking for a stop here, down by one. Armand, left side. Takes it out about 30 feet away, probably right at the edge of his range. Armand guarded closely by Poole. Armand gets the screen right, one-handed pass to Hines. Hands it off to English with 13 to shoot. English, left side for Poole. Fumbles the ball, gets it back. Bounces it to Hines. To English, backing down Himes. Kicks it out for Bowman. Wide open three from the corner is good. Trey Bowman with the 11. And Iona takes a four-point lead, 75-71. 6-0 run for the Gales. Saints offense is bogged down since Wright went out of the game with three and a half to go. Three and a half to go here. White, path to the basket, takes it down the lane, floats it from in short Maurice range. Maurice White. Maurice White with 12. 75-73, Iona, 315 to go. Nobody was guarding White there. He took advantage. Saints looking for something from the crowd here as they look for a big defensive stop. English to Hines. Off to Bowman. Hands it off to Mike Poole. Right side, Armand. This thing out on him. Armand looking for a screen with eight on the shot clock. Armand gets a screen. Left side, Poole. He's being hacked at. Down low, English. Lays it up. No good. He'll go to the line. And a timeout brought to you by All-Star Wine and Spirits with 2.49 to go. Iona 75. Siena 73. Same on the top 1300 Siena Green Basketball State. Radio Network. Fifth personal foul. 2.49 to go in the second half. There's a timeout on the court. First tonight's assist of the game is brought to you by New Age. Lowry back in the game for Iono. English has been the man here today with 25 points. He misses the first. He's just a sophomore. And he looks to be the next big scorer for the Iona Gales. Averaging 17 a game. Makes the second free throw, has 26 points. Iona leads 76-73 with 2.45 to go. Hines joined by Poole, Long, Oliver, and White. 
Wright and Bisping have fouled out of the game for Siena. Battle of attrition here. Himes hands it off to Oliver. Left side Poole. He'll shoot a three for the tie. Well short. Rebounded by Trey Bowman. He tapped it to Mike Poole. Saints did not need that quick, deep three-point shot by Poole right there. 2.25 to go. Gales lead by three. Trying to make it a two-possession game. 76-73. 2.20 remaining. English hands it off to Bowman. Gives it to Armand between the circles. Left side, Mike Poole. Back to Armand. Gets by White. Takes it to the basket. Dumps it down low for Lowry, who lays it in. David Lowry with seven, and the lead is five. With two minutes to go, 78-73. Poole, right side for White. Saints looking to execute here down the stretch. Oliver to Himes on the left wing. Himes blows by Poole. Takes it to the basket. Reverse layup is blocked. He was fouled by David Lowry, who was fouled out of the game. Himes to go to the line for two. Saints desperately needed that. Athletic play by Evan Himes right there, using his quickness to go past Poole. And then drawing the foul, of course, it stops the clock. It put Himes at the line. He can make this a one-possession game with two made foul shots. It could allow the Saints to set up in some type of full-court pressure. The only bad thing with Lowry fouling out is he's such a poor foul shooter. If he had touched the basketball, you could right foul Hines, Lowry just Hines, to Hines, put him on the line. Right in Hines back in for Iona, the freshman from Alaska. The Saints is shooting Jim. 152 to go, Saints down five, and Himes will have two shots. That was just the seventh foul against Iona. Evan from the line. It's three out of four. Himes shooting at the basket to our right. First shot out of two is up and good. Saints just three foul shots attempted in the second half. At last check, they were shooting 70% from the field after halftime. Now three out of six from beyond the arc since halftime. Himes' second shot is up. It's good. 16 for Himes. Let's hear it. Defense. Mike Poole. Defense. Tavon Sledge into the game. A.J. English and Sean Armand. Tavon Sledge, just a 45% free throw shooter, and he'll have the ball. Ryan Oliver with just two fouls. 1.50 to go. Iona will shoot two the rest of the way. Saints still in the regular bonus. One and one. Sledge left side for Bowman. Saints looking for a stop. Down by three. 20 on the shot clock. Sledge with the ball far side right. Sledge picked up out there beyond the arc. Left side for English. Left wing arm on. 13 to shoot. English steps into a long three. It's good! A.J. English with 29 in an Iona timeout. I just have no idea how they cannot know where Armand and English are on the floor. A.J. Sledge has the ball. You don't even need to guard him. And they allow A.J. English to catch that and step into a deep shot. Ryan Oliver should be all over him. 29 points for A.J. English, and Iona leads at 81-75 with a minute 27 to go. That could be the dagger. Still plenty of time, but that's just a poor, poor job of understanding time and situation. So Saints down two possessions now with a minute 27 remaining. Still plenty of time. Don't have to shoot threes, but got to get scores and got to consider fouling. When Iona gets the ball back. Well, Evan Himes let him go to the basket. Evan jogs into the front court, left to right. Feeds the post. 
Out of bounds, a turnover. No, yes, turnover. Not sure what happened there. Didn't Just take long. He threw a bounce pass to Levon Long, who went from the block and started to cut to the high post. The ball went out of bounds. Not, there wasn't a Saint within 10 feet. Saints have got a foul here. Bowman's got the ball. He's an excellent He's free throw shooter. Sledge dribbled the ball off his foot. Now only five seconds to get it across. Saints do end up fouling. Mike Poole, Rob Poole fouled him. Saints and it'll put Mike Poole at the line with 1.14 to go. And Poole already made two foul shots in the second half. It's like a library in here. Mike Poole on the line. Bryona shooting two. Mike Poole, two out of two from the line. He'll have two shots to make it a three-possession game. First. Into the game, Hines replacing Sledge. Oganyemi will replace Levon Long. Replacing Levon Long. Second shot by Poole. At the basket to our left. Is up. It's good. Six points for Mike Poole. And the Saints down now, 83-75 with a minute 10 to go. Looking for a huge comeback here. Himes between the circles. Right side for Oliver. He'll shoot the contested three off the mark. Rebounded by Maurice White. Draws contact. Lays it up. No good. Rebound loose. Who's got it? Mike Poole for Iona. He'll run out of the scrum. Get it back to Sean Armand. Up ahead, Trey Bowman. He's fouled by Himes. And Bowman, an excellent free throw shooter, will go to the line as Iona looks to salt this one away. I think they're going to say it's just out of bounds off Evan Himes. Okay, out of bounds off of Himes. After he pretty much body blocked Bowman there. They get it in for Armand in the corner. Back to Poole. He's fouled. 51 seconds left. Saints, Saints down eight. To Ryan Oliver. That's his third. I'll put Poole to the line again. Poole on the line. Brian is shooting 10. Poole is four out of four from the free throw line. He'll have two shots. And he made the first. Well, credit Iona. They're making their foul shots down the stretch. And the Saints have turned the ball over. Do you have the score one right foul out of the game? I believe the Saints were up three. 69 to... It was either 69-65 or 69-66. And all Iona since then. Himes down the lane. Wild shot up off glass. No good. Rebounded by Himes under the basket. Himes goes up strong and scores. Cut and he's basket. fouled. How does he get that shot off? He is literally jumping in between and about five, five Iona players. Because it couldn't be six. But five yeah, Iona players somehow gets that lay Evan off he's the backboard. The 40 seconds left. Saints down by eight. 85-77. Evan Himes trying to complete the three-point play. And... Keep a glimmer of hope alive. Saints will have to foul the rest of the way. Evans free throw is up. It is good. Season Stay high 19 left. for Evan Himes with 40 seconds left to go. And there's the man to foul. Sledge comes back into the game replacing Hines. Sledge a poor free throw shooter. You get it in for Armand. He bounces it to Poole near side to English who's been an absolute beast here. And he's fouled by Saints Himes. To Evan Himes. That's his second. Mike Demos, my man from Sports Information, telling me that it was 69-65 when right fouled out with 7-12 left to go. So since then, it's been 20-9. to nine. It was 20-6 to six before Himes just had that three-point play. 8 English makes the first. Ryan Himes back in for Iona for Tavon Sledge. Frankly, too much A.J. English today. He's now matched a career high with 30 points. He's been hot as of late for the Gales. Averaging over 21 a game over his last seven. He's going to help that average here. He's got 31 points as he makes them both. It's 87-78 with 30 seconds left. Down low, Ganyemi, too strong on the layup. Rebounded by English, and he's going to go to the line again. Nope. They call it a jump ball. Jump ball, the arrow will favor Iona. Jump ball. 
Sledge back into the game with 26 seconds remaining. Looks like the Gales are going to win here. They're up by nine. Off of Poole's leg. That's Mike Poole. Nope, off of Rob Poole. It'll be Iona basketball. 25 seconds left to go. Get it in for English. This jump time ball they No, oh, jump ball. The air will favor Siena. English. Trying to add to his point total there. Right now, that ball up. 24 seconds left. 87 78 Gales. Saints need threes here. And a bunch of them. They'll get it in deep left wing for Himes. Evan dribbles towards the basket, hangs in the air, banks it off glass. Too strong, no good. Out of bounds off of Oganyemi. 18 seconds left. Saints down nine. Into the game to Sean Gomez. Gomez. Replacing Ryden Hines. And his lineup for Iona. Iona now seven and two when scoring 80 points or more this year. One and five when they don't hit 80. And Saints will not foul here. That will be the final here. 87-78. Iona takes an early lead. Final score. Watches Iona Sienna rally. Saints, and then pushes back ahead for the victory. Gales improved to 8-7, 5-1 in the max. Saints fall to 7-10, 3-1.